what is the difference between a violin and a fiddle? If you play either of these instruments, you have been asked this question a lot, most likely, and I usually respond in one of two ways, either with humor, a violin has strings and a fiddle has strings. You carry a violin in a case and a fiddle in a toe sack. It's a fiddle when you're buying and a violin when you're selling. Or I'll just demonstrate playing two different styles of music, classical going straight into fiddle, like this video. Trigger warning, it involves Canon ND. So I posted this video. And it sparked a lot of conversation, so I figured, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a video and just talk about it. Let's bust some myths about the differences between a violin and a fiddle. Myth number one, violins and fiddles are two different instruments. False, but more specifically, a fiddle is a type of setup you can put on a violin. The violin is the main instrument and you can change out some of the parts to enable the user to play fiddle music more easily. So this is my violin, or fiddle if I so chose. You can change out this little piece right here. This entire instrument would be the same thing. You can change out this little piece right here, get one that's a little flatter, and that will allow you to play on multiple strings at a time. That's the only difference that you can choose to make, but it's not a rule, it's not a hard and fast rule. It's just a little piece that you can change on a violin to make it easier to play fiddle music. That brings me to myth number two. You need a flatter bridge for a fiddle in order to play on multiple strings at a time because for violins, you don't need to play on multiple strings at a time. That is false. But more specifically, this is a modern setup of a violin. This is basically the most versatile setup that they could come up with, It's that they could create um, from all of the different evolutions of a violin. Because back in the day, long time ago, throughout the different eras of musical history, um, you did need to play more specific styles depending on where you were, on, were in the world. So yes, some Irish fiddlers that were still playing on a violin um, needed a flatter bridge. Um, there's also um, what's called the German Baroque bow. It looked like this. It was a curved violin bow which enabled the user to be able to play on more than one string more easily. Here's another picture that shows like the German curved Baroque violin bow and then the Italian violin bow. Um, Italian music at the time was a lot faster. You needed to be more agile, play on one string at a time, a lot cleaner. Um, the ger Baroque German music was a lot more chords, things like that. Fun fact, Bach himself was a um, violinist that was well versed in both styles of music and that's where he came up with all of his, um, his compositions and that's why they're just like so incredible. Which leads me to the point that a violin, classical violin, you also need to play on multiple strings at a time, depending on the style of music you're playing or the p particular piece that you're playing. Um, it's not just fiddle styles that you need to play on more than one string at a time. However, with fiddle music, you probably are not only playing on one string at a time. I've also had some um, students that had a flatter bridge and I had to switch them out because it was very difficult. You're trying to play on one string at a time and it was very difficult to not play on one string at a time. So. Really, if it comes down to it, if you have a fiddle set up on your violin and you're trying to play violin music, you're probably not going to be able to do it. Versus if you have a violin that has a modern setup of a violin, it's pretty easy to still play fiddle music at the same time. Which is why a lot of people still choose like the modern setup, unless they're only playing one type of music. In summary, the fiddle is a type of violin or a type of violin setup. Most people choose to play the modern setup of a violin so that they can be more versatile instead of just being stuck doing one thing. But if you'd like to put a flat bridge on your violin, that's totally fine. You can't. It's still a violin.